said, in this WordPress tutorial, we will be doing a footer with Full Site Editor. You need 5.9 for this, and you need a theme that has Full Site Editing. Uh, if you need a theme that has Full Site Editing, I recently did a tutorial on installing this Ona theme, and you can uh, adjust all of the elements of your site in Gutenberg with Full Site Editing. So this is a, a nice jump. Um, you can now use Gutenberg for everything. So um, I will leave the link to that in the video description. To get started, we go to Appearance, Editor, and it pulls up your front page. But if you look at the list view, it also gives you the opportunity to edit the header and the footer. The footer, if you click the actual block and you click Replace, if you were to make your own from scratch, this is where you would do it. Um, to make one from scratch, you would hit the W, Template Parts, Add New, and then give your footer a name, and then select Footer Here, Create. But in this tutorial, I would much rather use a template that they provide because I don't want to do everything that's already been done and I want to trust the experts on design and stuff like that. So I go to Appearance Editor, pulls up the front, but it has this footer section. I also like being able to see the front page just to kind of get a vibe on how it will look. So underneath the footer block, they're all grouped together and this group was given a background color Originally it was black, which probably looks better. So let's go with black on the background. And then uh, below that we have a columns block, which you don't really need because this is all one column. But that's how they laid it out. So under the one column that takes up 100% of the width, we have just all of the blocks in line and they're all centered. So yeah. Uh, you have a spacer, a site title, site logo, which is black because I I created that up here in the header. So you can't really, you get these two uh, scroll bars sometimes in Gutenberg and it's a little goofy. But if I was to remove that site logo, now I'm going to insert something below and I will just do an image block instead of the logo since the logo is black and I'll choose one with white that might already be there yeah it's right here below so you can adjust that here you can center it add a caption then we have a spacer an image which is this one social icons widget or social icons block uh, that's centered here. Once you click the plus on the edge here, you can add another one. Give it an address by clicking on it. And then we just have the paragraph, a little description here, copyright. And then we have the navigation block for the footer. You can select your own menu here. Drill down to the pages, remove pages. Let's say I want to just duplicate one of these pages. I just select it, duplicate, and then I put in my own link here, type in the page, clicking the pencil, and uh, yeah, that's how you would kind of adjust the navigation menu there. And then there's just a little spacer at the bottom. But yeah, once you save it, it says, okay, we're definitely going to be saving this footer and the navigation menu that you changed. So you confirm that, and then you've updated your footer for all of them in the uh, since you've updated it here. And it's using this footer. You know, if you replaced it, then you are no longer going to be using that template part, but you you can see the original one here that's the one that we were adjusting and when you click on it you get the same thing 
but you just don't get it's uh, make sh making sure it's compatible with the front page and stuff like that. So that's why I did it from the front page. And if you are interested in, you know, installing this theme or other resources, check out the video description. If you found this at all helpful, a like or sub is always appreciated. Thank <laughs> you.